All right. Now what y'all about to do, what y'all about to hear now is his girlfriend. Listen to his girlfriend. And this is why I tell y'all that black women, in my opinion, are the worst group of women on planet Earth. Listen to this black woman who's supposedly a psychologist and has a um, master's degree. Just listen to his girl. If you think he bad, listen to his girl. Yo. Babylon is falling. Just type something in the chat room. And I can't stand shit stirring shit. I can't stand shit stirring shit. Ain't nobody in this motherfucker can say that they talk to my girl outside of Onyx. You know what I'm saying? D is one of our family members. D talks to, you know what I'm saying, my girl all the time. D knows about the whole Angie situation and all that shit. Miss B standing here right now. Show body. Yeah. Have you ever fucking even talked to that bitch Angie outside of hello? Outside of hello? No, come speak louder. Let these motherfuckers know how you feel about this hole, please. You got to speak feel, up. I don't feel shit about this motherfucking hole. This bitch is non-existent. Now, she's talking about that ugly chick who he sent a photo of himself with his shirt off in the bathroom. But his girl is still backing him up after this. She's just, she just a nothing, a nobody. I don't fuck with nobodies. Outside of motherfucking hello and rolling my eyes while I say fucking hello, this bitch is nothing. I don't fuck with struggle people. If I'm struggling, I'm struggling by my motherfucking self. I would never ask them. She says she don't fuck with struggle people, but she living with a 45 year old man who has four kids, a grandson in a one bedroom apartment with her mother, but she doesn't fuck with struggle people. Motherfucking struggling asshole for a goddamn thing. I can give her some motherfucking advice, bitch. There's so many motherfucking agencies out here you can go to. Why the fuck would I ask you for any fucking thing ever? Oh, my fault, Babs. Speak up, baby. She can't, they can't hear me? No, just come a little bit closer. The mic is right there. They can hear you anyway. <clears throat> now, speak on everything from her being... Yes, this the fat AKA bitch. She fat as fuck. This nigga said this bitch is, six, uh, is five foot even. He's six foot five. That big strong voice bitch... That motherfucker weighed 500 pounds. He know that's a fat bitch. This a fat, disgusting bitch. And why am I saying you got a fat, disgusting bitch? You'll listen to the way he talk about Britney several times, and Britney's never said anything to this motherfucker. She looked better than anyone your baby mama, nigga. The fake ass, AKA, when the fuck you talk to her, how she don't have no personal information on you, and how I wasn't fucking with that hoe like that. Oh, in every conversation we had, where were you? Right here. How was we? On how my was our, way out to motherfucking work, this bitch called the motherfucking house every fucking day about nine nine thirty. Every fucking day, trying to say hello. Why you trying to motherfucking holler at my man? I know what the fuck time it is when the bitch is. Hey big man, hey big man, bitch beat it with that bullshit. You ain't getting shit over here, bitch. Ain't no you see how this nigga look like he about to die? <laughs> like he he about to start doing techno music. Nobody asking you for shit. You ain't got shit. You don't look like you got shit. If anything, you could have been my sister in the motherfucking <laughs> realm of fucking things. But you turned out to be a fucking termite. You ain't shit, bitch. You ain't shit and you motherfucking put your family up to not be nothing, bitch. Why the fuck would anybody ask you for any fucking thing? You go over there and motherfucking talk to fucking Tommy about some fucking lies because you a lying ass bitch. You want everybody on your motherfucking side on some bullshit. The fat whore just told a lie, Nut Ward. I see why you with her, because you and the fat whore doesn't do anything but lie. You and the fat, disgusting, loud mouth, sailor mouth whore, all y'all do is lie. She claimed that Angie George came to talk to me and been on my show. Angie has never been on my show. Angie does not like me. That girl has never been on my show and talked about Nut Ward. It's the same lie he tells when he says that me and... um. Me and Port City did a show talking about him. Port City's never called in and had it and, and had his side heard. Shit, because a motherfucker wouldn't holler at you, bitch. You a broken hearted ass motherfucking bitch. You just broken, period. 
Who the fuck gonna ask you for any fucking thing? Nothing ass bitch. Bitch, I got something to motherfucking give you. You trying to motherfucking be a motherfucking that you not. You will get more fucking points to say, you know what? I'm struggling. Can a motherfucker help me? How many times does this woman say motherfucker? Motherfucker, fuck, motherfucker, motherfucker. Like motherfucker is like a conjunction for her. Motherfucker is like it, it, uh, it, it's a it's an adjective, an adverb. It, it's everything you can say. She literally says she sounds like a motherfucking man. <laughs> Since you want to say motherfuck so much, she sounds like a motherfucking dude. Instead of going around acting like you some motherfucking empath. Bitch, if you a fucking empath, how come the fuck you didn't know your motherfucking life was going the fuck down and do something about that shit? <coughs> you ain't no AKA, no AKB, you ain't shit, bitch. Get your motherfucking life together. I'm not saying that you can't have a fucking struggling ass life, but stop trying to put your shit on every fucking body else. This nigga is coughing up all his insides, lungs, heart, kidney, Everything he just coughing like a son of a gun. I'm done. Put some respect on her name. God damn it. That was my woman. That was my woman. So for every motherfucking body who want to know or think, I don't got no soft bitch. That was not no tone of no soft woman. You feel what I'm saying? We can tell, Nut Ward, you don't have a soft bitch. You got a fat bitch. She probably is like rotund, but you don't have a soft bitch. You got a nigga. You got a man. You are dating a man with a vagina, we guess. We don't know. But as much as you talk about gay stuff, that might just be a man. But it does sound like a pit bull in a skirt. Shouts out to your girl. That's who it sounds like. Now, don't get mad at me. I think I'm dissing his girl because I want y'all to hear how he describes his girl. Now, the nigga sound really proud. Tell me I'm lying, y'all. He sounds really proud that his girl is that masculine. He sounds really proud that his girl cannot complete a sentence without saying motherfucking fuck. And so if you see how I get down, you see how she get down. We don't pull no fucking punches. And you don't got shake up. Who are you talking about? Because they're not clear. Oh, I was talking about motherfucking Angie George, if that's your real fucking name, bitch. Because I wouldn't be on no motherfucking YouTube. I wouldn't put my motherfucking shit out there on fucking blast. I got too much fucking going on, bitch. I don't need a fucking dollar from you, bitch. I get fucking dollars. Don't even fucking trip, bitch. Now call me the fuck up if you got my fucking number, if you got my fucking real fucking name. Get in touch with me, bitch, because I might be able to give you a fucking job. <clears throat> Boss, bitch. <laughs> so y'all know when we say, when I say boss, it's just not some bullshit. That's what we're on up in here. Boss. Y'all hear that, right? DNA. Oop. DNA. And D type of motherfucker one, if this ain't, if this how the fuck I talk for real. <laughs> this how the fuck I talk for real. D type of motherfucker one, and let these motherfuckers know this who the fuck I really am. Where you at, D? Where you at, D? Can we get a cosign from sis? Can we get a cosign from sis? Because D and, D and my girl like this. T to say, D to say, boss, that's what I hang around. Hashtag boss, that's what I hang around. And then she typed the one. Two ones. Y'all see how she ended that with boss, bitch. That's his girl. And this nigga was just coughing his ass off. I hate these tags. That's boss to them. That's boss. If you guys don't understand that this is why the, the black race sucks, that's boss, and that guy can get an audience, no matter how small it is. There shouldn't be 30 people in the world that will listen to this fool. But she says that's boss, yelling like an insane person at a girl who you know your man was trying to get at. You know it. Three ones. This motherfucker going to be typing ones all day. Four ones. 
Four big old ones. Five ones. Five big old ones. Like, damn, Styles girl, scary, scarier than Styles. I tried to tell you. <laughs> I tried to tell you. Y'all don't get it. Like Renisha said, I'm glad you said that, Renisha. Renisha from the YouTube chat room said, this is the reason why they kill niggas. Y'all, she's 100% correct. What do you think white people are feeling and thinking if they see this? Be, be serious. What do you think any other race of people are thinking when they see a grown 45-year-old man doing this and his girlfriend is helping him do it someone is his girlfriend is helping him do it while she in the background like duran said washing dishes in the kitchen where he broadcasts from this these are midlife black people midlife oh angie used to have a angie had a mom she didn't even know angie was part of a good ass crew and didn't even know it because my girls will go get it, D will go get it, Mahogany will go get it, Lovey will go get it. All of them, they, were, they could have been some goon chicks. You know what I'm saying? Angie was the motherfucking um, odd man out. And the funny part about it, the rest of the women still cool. Everybody else cool except Angie. And Angie going around fucking with people. That shit is laughable. That's why I'm like, yo, I don't have to respond to you, bitch. My girl is my best friend. Everything that goes... She got the passwords to my computers. I can't, I don't have to hide nothing. I leave my, ain't no locks on my phone. There ain't no special passcodes, none of that shit. You swipe a button and my phone is open. That's how you know you got trust in the crib. You see what I'm saying? My girl can go through my shit and read everything. I don't front about a goddamn thing. I don't lie about nothing. Yo, if it's a chick. You live in your girl's house. They're trying to holler at me. My girl know what time it is. Hey, yo, you know I might be sliding over here on something. We keep it 100 with everything. So I'm like, yo, y'all don't know. This is 20 years. This ain't just dick and pussy and living. How baby is that? No, that's my motherfucking nigga. Mind you, he claims he's been with her 20 years. He got two kids under 20 years old. They aren't hers. Make it make sense. Right there. That's my better half right there. Everything I do, she if she ain't there, she know about it. And they ain't married. Real talk. We get down exactly the same, but she's just a female version of me, and I'm worse than her. She's worse in, 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 in mind. I'm worse in action. I'm the monster. She's the motherfucking strategist. Real talk. Real talk. Us as the team is, is, is ask, ask, ask people that know us. Us as the team is scary. That's why I don't pay attention to you niggas. That's why I stay grounded. That's why I stay humble. Because a motherfucker like that ain't going to let you get a big head. A motherfucker like that going to keep... Nigga, what is you talking about? A motherfucker like that will sit on you, Styles. A motherfucker like that will eat you. A motherfucker like that will stay with you when you ain't shit and you going around threatening people online. A motherfucker like that is somebody who will wash dishes while you broadcast on YouTube in the same room and looking like you on... Uh, Housewives of Atlanta or love and hip hop with your background like like they just got through showing you at the mall fighting a nigga and now they put you in this background to have you describe what happened. That's what it is. Oh, love and hip hop ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's why she ride with me. Hey, Angie, are you finished or are you done? <laughs> put some respect on my name. Fuck that. We need... We you, hey, baby, you got to get it. You got, I got to give it to you now. You got to get to put some respect on my name. Now, it's funny that he said a woman like that can keep you grounded. Like, if she sat on top of you, you, you grounded. Like, that's it. If she sits on top of you, you are, in essence, grounded. You, you're stuck. So he right. A woman like that is five foot, two, or five foot 250. Yeah, she can keep you grounded. You right about that. That's why Styles always calling every girl he see me with. Fat, I mean, or ugly. Have y'all noticed every girl he sees me with, he says she's ugly. Every one of them. But we'll keep going. You got to get to put some respect on my name, Mix. I don't give a fuck. You got to get it. Oh, no. 
Morning, everybody. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no talk. That motherfucker, Andrew George. I can't even say this bitch is whiny. I'm stacking. My name, come on, stacking. Nope. Stop playing my fucking name. <sighs> what else do I have to say? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I need you to address, because I'm sick of addressing it. Could you do me one more fa favor? Please address the Tommy Sotomayor. Um, oh, my God. Please address Tommy. First of all, I, I, I need can't to, even wait, address. Hold on, hold on. Let me light my joint first, because I just want you to go ahead with, without prompting. I can't even address Tommy enough, because I'm busy. I got shit that I need to motherfucking do. But this motherfucking Tommy, I talked to this motherfucker one time, all of one fucking 30 seconds or less. To find out how much he is a motherfucking liar and a bitch. And one thing I can't stand is a bitch ass nigga. Be who the fuck you are, but don't be no bitch ass nigga. Just like that motherfucker Angie George. I can't even stand this bitch's whiny ass voice. I can't stand this whining ass bitch. Whine. He said she said she cannot stand a whiny ass bitch. No one whines more than her man. This nigga whines so much, he win a Jamaican dance contest. He whines so much. I ain't seen nobody whine as much as him since Patra. I ain't seen it. An ass fucking voice. I can't even stand the twang in your fucking voice, bitch. This motherfucking Tommy, tell us some, he a fucking psychologist. You a psychologist? To ask me what was my degree in, oh, what type of psychology is your <laughs> degree in, baby girl? Behavior. <laughs> so he can say his shit is clinical. You a fucking lie, motherfucker. You, there's no way you can have the language that you have. There's no way that you can throw people under the bus the way the fuck you do if you got any fucking psychology in your fucking background other than a motherfucking beginner's class. Mind y'all, I want y'all to hear this. For those who missed it, I'm going to rewind it and play it. But I'm going to tell you what to listen for. Remember, she says she's a behavioral psychologist. She said there's no way I can have a psychology degree with the language that I use. In the process of saying there's no way I could have a degree in psychology with the language I use, she was using the exact same language. And she claims to have a psychology degree. Do y'all understand? This is how nuts black people are. Black people are completely stupid. She said in the same breath, having the same degree, that there's no way I could have it because of the language I use. And throwing people under the bus. I'll let you hear it again. Whining ass fucking voice. I can't even stand the twang in your fucking voice, bitch. This motherfucking Tommy, tell us some, he a fucking psychologist. You a psychologist? To ask me what was my degree in? Oh, what type of psychology is your <laughs> degree in, baby girl? Behavior. <laughs> So he can say his shit is clinical. You a fucking lie, motherfucker. You, there's no way you can have the language that you have. There's no way that you can throw people under the bus the way the fuck you do if you got any fucking psychology in your fucking background other than a motherfucking beginner's class. You ain't shit to me. I don't give a fuck how popular you are on YouTube. You ain't shit to me. I don't give a fuck how many celebrities you met, nigga. I know motherfucking celebrities. You ain't shit to me. Remember, we from the motherfucking shy. We roll with celebrities in and out the motherfucking hood. They kick it with us. Don't even fucking trip. We celebrities kick it with them. They roll with celebrities in and out of the hood. Yet he came to me for help. Can someone make this make sense? She said she from Chicago. They roll with celebrities all the time. I haven't been with motherfucking celebrities, so that shit ain't nothing. Plus, I'm not a starstruck ass motherfucker. You ain't shit to me.
But she does let you know that I'm a celebrity, even though he tries to downplay what I am. If you just pay a close attention, she's starstruck. Just listen. For those who want to know, this is Styles' fat ass girlfriend. This is the fat bitch that he lay up with for 20 years that he won't show nobody because he knows it's a fat, ugly bitch. But he want to talk about everybody else's looks and how they look while hiding your fat, ugly bitch. I don't get motherfucking autographs. That shit don't faze me. You ain't shit, Tommy. I don't like a whining ass nigga always motherfucking crying about his goddamn life. Pull your shit up by your 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 boyfriend broadcast from a hospital. Your boyfriend broadcast about another girl who he sent his pictures to nude. Your boyfriend went on a radio show to talk about the guy you said ain't a celebrity. Your boyfriend knows every girl that's ever been to my house. Your boyfriend talks about the hospital screwed him over. His baby mama screwed him over. I screwed him over. Port City screwed him over. Your boyfriend talks about shadow screwed him over. And you can't stand a whiny ass nigga. Did you really say this? I don't get motherfucking autographs. That shit don't faze me. You ain't shit, Tommy. I don't like a whining ass nigga always motherfucking crying about his goddamn life. Pull your shit up by your, your, your boots up by your straps and get that motherfucking money, nigga. You stop begging motherfuckers. Again, I told y'all, I hate when black people try to use words that they don't know how to use. Did y'all hear what this, um, Garbage fat bitch. They're going to have a new line of toys called garbage fat bitch. I want to get a garbage fat bitch. Have you gotten a new garbage fat bitches? She said, pull your straps uh, out of your boots. I got to get a garbage fat bitch. Listen to this. Behavioral psychologist or whatever the fuck kind of psychology degree she claims she has. She can't even complete a simple turn of phrase. I don't get motherfucking autographs. That shit don't faze me. You ain't shit, Tommy. I don't like a whining ass nigga always motherfucking crying about his goddamn life. Pull your shit up by your, your, your boots up by your straps and get that motherfucking money. She said, pull your boots up out of your straps. I got to get a garbage fat bitch. I don't want to be slim because nigga, if I did, I'd want to be a garbage fat bitch. Pull your boots out of your straps. Can somebody make that make any sense? Fat bitch. What do you mean by pull my boots out of my straps? Oh, there's some boots in this. There's some boots in here somewhere. Mm. I tried to pull my boots out of my straps. It didn't work. Maybe you mean pull your boots out of your bra straps. Because a fat bitch like this probably got them big ass titties that grandma used to stuff money and milk and, and sugar and all kind of spices and shit and, and lamps. She probably got them kind of titties, that bras. So she meant... Pull your boots out of her straps. I, I'm not sure. Because you can do that if you're gar a garbage fat bitch. I mean, what the fuck is this garbage fat bitch talking about? You didn't get just a fat bitch. Because there's some nice fat bitches out there that I would lay up under. You got a garbage fat bitch. That's what you got, Nut Ward. You have a garbage fat bitch. Trash can bitch. Oh, Oscar the Grouch ass, ass bitch. A garbage fat bitch. Somebody said they sell them for $9.99. Them garbage fat bitches. You got one of those. Somebody said some models come with the sexy kangaroo pouch. You have a garbage fat bitch. Let's hear that garbage fat bitch again. Fuck up this simple turn of phrase. If you got any fucking psychology in your fucking background other than a motherfucking beginner's class. 
You ain't shit to me. I don't give a fuck how popular you are on YouTube. You ain't shit to me. I don't give a fuck how many celebrities you met, nigga. I know motherfucking celebrities. You ain't shit to me. Remember, we from the motherfucking shy. We roll with celebrities in and out the motherfucking hood. They kick it with us. Don't even fucking trip. We didn't been with motherfucking celebrities. So that shit ain't nothing. Plus, I'm not a starstruck ass motherfucker. You ain't shit to me, but another human being. I don't get motherfucking autographs. That shit don't phase me. You ain't shit, Tommy. I don't like a whining ass nigga always motherfucking crying about his goddamn life. Pull your shit up by your, your, your boots up by your straps. Matter of fact, she tried to correct herself and still got it wrong. Matter of fact, pull your shit, uh, pull your boots up out of your straps. But don't come over on this motherfucking side talking shit. You telling the motherfucker that I'm going to do this with your money? Do that shit with, your, with that motherfucker. I don't get motherfucking autographs. That shit don't phase me. You ain't shit, Tommy. I don't like a whining ass nigga always motherfucking crying about his goddamn life. Pull your shit up by your, your, your boots up by your straps and get that motherfucking money, nigga. You stop begging motherfuckers. If you got to go find me, be proud about that shit and tell motherfuckers what it is. All right. She said, stop begging motherfuckers. Then said, if you got to go find me, be proud of it. How many times have I told y'all literally letting black chicks talk, they will contradict everything that comes out of their mouth. She said, she don't like no nigga begging. Then turned around and said, if you got to go find me, be proud of it. A garbage fat bitch. You live in the house. You got a green screen. You got a girl built like an NFL team. She's a garbage fat bitch. A garbage fat bitch. She's a garbage fat bitch. She's in the house. You can't even let this bitch sit on your couch. She's a garbage fat bitch. A garbage fat bitch. She's a garbage fat bitch. She go to the store and she buy all the food. She never wants to sit back and be in the mood unless it's to eat or get dessert. And if you let her get on top of you, I bet it'll hurt. She is a garbage fat bitch. Oh yeah, she is a garbage fat bitch. Oh yeah, she is a garbage fat bitch. Nut Wars girl is a Garbage fan, bitch. Yeah, garbage fat bitch. If you doing some shit and you telling the motherfucker that I'ma do this with your money, do that shit with your with that motherfucking money. Or I'm coming at your motherfucking head if you ain't doing right by my motherfucking money. I'm not giving you a motherfucking thing. So who giving you some shit? Get that shit. I ain't mad at you. Bump a motherfucker head if they stupid. But don't come. Okay, did y'all hear that? She said, if you getting money from them people, I ain't mad at you. Knock them over the head. Get that money if they stupid. Yet earlier she said, I shouldn't do that. I don't understand. And how does your girlfriend know all this, Nut Ward? Nut Ward, my girlfriend doesn't know anything about you, sir. This nigga said if Britney keep watching him, she'll fuck him. You telling the motherfucker that I'm going to do this with your money? Do that shit with, your, with that motherfucking money. Or I'm coming at your motherfucking head if you ain't doing right by my motherfucking money. I'm not giving you a motherfucking thing. So who giving you some shit? Get that shit. I ain't mad at you. Bump a motherfucking head if they stupid. But don't come over on this motherfucking side talking shit. Because you envy a motherfucking gangster. <laughs> this nigga's a gangster. 45. Still on the streets. Telling people he gonna kill them. This dude is a gangster. 
a nigga that was arrested for running up in a bitch house that already had another dude. Him. This nigga's a gangster. So gangster that when he got to the girl's house, she wasn't there. The nigga called her at her work and threatened her. That's how he got caught. That's gangster. You want to be like him? What? I want to be like him. That is the perfect frame to pause on. This nigga's head down, sad than a son of a bitch, knowing that what she said made no sense. You want to be like him? What? A nigga that live in a house with a garbage fat bitch, a garbage fat bitch. He got this bitch from the neighborhood. He can't lie and tell people that a pussy is good. Cause he had the time fucking her in her navel and under her legs. Any fat will do. She's a gab garbage fat bitch. A garbage fat bitch. She's a garbage fat bitch. You got a garbage fat bitch. And you shouldn't have a problem with me calling a, a, your chick a garbage fat bitch. Seeing as you've talked about every female that's ever been around me, sir. Remember, this should all be, you did a radio show about me, so you shouldn't have a problem with me doing this, should you? Should you? Nah. You told people you was going to kill me, so you got a, you got mad when I went on that same guy's show wondering why you were trying to kill me. So you get to say what you want, and I can't say nothing back, and you let this garbage fat bitch say something. Let me tell you something, sir. My girl wouldn't address you, because you got a garbage fat bitch. I mean, a garbage fat bitch. You couldn't put this fat bitch on a tow truck. If you did, she was fuck your lineman up. She's a garbage fat bitch. She's a garbage fat bitch. Yeah. She's a garbage fat bitch. Come on, sing it with me. A garbage fat bitch. Then talk to the motherfucking man with some goddamn respect. Stop being a what, what old girl called him a shock jock. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. As long as you got beef with Styles, you popular. Nigga, this motherfucker's over here getting 100,000 views that ain't you. She said, as long as I got beef with Styles. As long as I got beef with Styles, I'm popular. Do you hear this shit? Delusions. Delusions. Who in a right mind says what she just said? A Negro with 39 views. 39 views. How the fuck can I get popular off your name when you can't get popular off your own name? Type of bitch to eat all your baby back ribs. If you got a whole cake, she yelling out she got dibs. She's a garbage fat bitch. She is a garbage fat bitch. Yeah. She is a garbage fat bitch. A garbage fat bitch. You ain't the only motherfucker on YouTube getting a little bit of shine, and your fucking shine is dusty. Who the fuck are you, Tommy? Crunchy ass nigga, ain't nobody what motherfucker want to holler at you, period. That's why the fuck you whining about some shit. That's why the fuck you got to put a bitch on your motherfucking lap. Because you, look, 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 I can get somebody. And why the fuck every time you got somebody, you showing a motherfucker, it's a black bitch, the same black bitch that you don't like. The same hair hat and fucking hooligan that you the fuck don't like. That's why you talk about them bitches, because that motherfuckers never had time for your ass. So now you want to put them motherfuckers on blast like, look. I'm fucking a black bitch now. <laughs> now you want to fuck a motherfucking black bitch, but you always did. Okay, Styles, while you coughing and dying, I got one question for you. Why does your girl know where my big my dick been? She fat as fuck when you fuck it's like fucking twins. She's a garbage fat bitch. She is a garbage fat bitch. Yeah. You always did. So stop talking about motherfucking black women in a negative motherfucking light and get down with the motherfucking calls the way the fuck you supposed to.
Stop talking about black women in a negative motherfucking light and get down with the motherfucking cause the way you motherfucking supposed to. How many of y'all know what the fuck that means? I told y'all black women are all about code words that mean nothing. Why does she know everybody I've been with? Dude, your girl is watching me. I always feel like fat hoes watching me. I have no privacy. Why is this fat whore your girlfriend, your fat garbage, you, 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 this, this garbage fat bitch, your girl knows where my dick been? Why, Styles? Why? Why, why? Tell him that this fat bitch ate her. Why, why? That's a fat bitch. Garbage fat bitch. The reality is, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you talk about because you're insignificant to me. The reality is, she could give a fuck what I talk about because I'm insignificant to her. After this garbage fat bitch ran down my history. <laughs> this garbage fat bitch told you everything about me and bitches I fuck and then says in reality that I could give a fuck about you. What? I'm insignificant. What? She says she doesn't even like to talk about me because she probably lose her breath when 353. She is a garbage fat bitch. She is a garbage fat bitch. Yay. I don't like shit about you. The way the motherfucking you look, the what the fuck you talk about. I can't even motherfucking stand and hear nothing you talking about. I don't even like your fucking titles. Because so I'm not clicking on your videos. I'm not watching shit that you're talking about. Because I don't waste my time with frivolous <coughs> bullshit. <coughs> I got way too much fucking research to do than to be talking about or thinking about your ass. This nigga on camera about to cough up a lung, but I bet she try to fry it when this nigga is done. She is a garbage fat bitch. She is a garbage fat bitch. Yay. Tell me, so she researching. She need to stop researching and get the fuck away from a table. Garbage fat bitch. Go the fuck somewhere. I hope the fuck styles don't come and motherfucking kill you because of some shit that he needs to motherfucking do to carry out his fucking life. But you need to go somewhere and bury your motherfucking head, nigga. Leave us the fuck alone. Yes, I said us. Even though you're talking about styles, that's my motherfucking man. Leave us the fuck alone. Girl, I love you. I'm going to squeeze on your titty in about three minutes and shit. Sir, it will take you three minutes to squeeze her titties. It really will. That's why this nigga said to this five-foot midget, I love you. After all that rant she just gave about another man. Fellas, if your girl knew all that about another dude, would after she talk about this man turn you on? When I took her out, Tommy's name was in her mouth. I felt so good. That shit really turned me on. Boom, boom, boom. He was on my screen. She looked like wanted to be, looked like she wanted to be on his team. That shit really turned me on. What the fuck? No. Style that should not have turned you on. That shit should not be turning you on. Styles, it shouldn't. That shit should not be turning you on. It, it really shouldn't, but I guess. 
When you're in the kitchen, I guess I ain't got no choice. With that fat bitch and that masculine voice, she is a garbage fat bitch. She is a garbage fat bitch, yay. <laughs> Yeah, I thought these lights hyped in a motherfucker, ain't it? So, um. Get out of here, this fucking YouTube bullshit, and everybody come over here bringing some hot topic shit. Oh, so and so was talking about you. Oh, so and so was talking about I kicked your motherfucking ass. Stop bringing me motherfucking bad news, motherfucker. Uh, and with that, I think that, well, Roosevelt Fair said it best. And it's most appropriate right now. I don't know if y'all have ever heard this shit. And Poor City can tell you. He got some nigga on that is trying to be, um, what's he trying to be? Um, like Jodeci. That nigga's the worst fucking singer in the history of mankind. Like, I don't know what the fuck kind of music this nigga is singing. This shit is hilarious. Them dudes be singing them slow songs. And I don't have nothing against the brother, but that shit sucks. On YouTube, so have that in their life. If her mom go down, you help her with her. Me, if y'all can't feel me, men, if y'all feel me, is this not a woman who, if her mom go down, you help her with her mom? Is that not a woman you ride with? Is that? He said, "Is that after hearing all that?" He said, "Is that not?" A woman you ride with no because she will fuck up your suspension no you don't ride with her styles you cannot ride with her unless you reinforce the fucking metal and shit you have to reinforce the shocks the brakes you gotta stop a little bit earlier you cannot ride with this bitch man come on style you can't ride with this bitch can't convince nobody else to ride and you you can't convince nobody else to ride around with a beach whale. Not a woman you keep it 100 with all the time. Did you fuck what she said? Did you hear the vibe behind what she was saying? Yeah. Is that not a motherfucking woman? Even chicks were like, oh, I like her. I like her vibe. Is that not a woman you treat good? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. They ain't no chick who said they like that fat bitch vibe. That ain't. I don't care what lie you tell. None of them 32 people were sitting there thinking, I'd like to fuck Styles' girl. Y'all heard, heard how she ride for me. Is that not a woman you ride for 100%? That's why I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not chasing hoes. I don't have to. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't feel me. That's why that nigga, them nigga, them other niggas can't talk shit to me because they don't, they don't have that. I look at them and I see they don't have that in their life. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to have no, I don't have to have no motherfucking body but her. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, real fucking talk. That's my motherfucking, that's my motherfucking backbone. When I you said you don't have to have nobody but her, but sir, you can't have nobody but her. You can't have anybody but her. There's no young girl that's going to take you at 45 with nothing. So the only people that can get with you is a garbage fat bitch or a blind garbage fat bitch. I'm feeling motherfucking weak. You feel what I'm saying? When, when I'm on quicksand, that's my rock. And it's the same fucking way opposite. You dig what I'm saying? That's who the fuck you ride for. And that's the, re that's the reason I go so hard. Real talk. Real fucking talk. That's my motherfucking nigga. I don't give a fuck about what nobody talking about. Y'all heard what y'all heard what he said. But this shit, whole shit was her idea. The whole YouTube shit was her idea. Like, yo, you attractive, you you energetic. I wouldn't be doing YouTube if it wasn't for her. Find what she was saying. Is that not a motherfucking woman? Even chicks were like, oh, I like her. I like her vibe. Is that not a woman you treat good? Y'all heard y'all heard how she ride for me. Is that not a woman you ride for 100 percent That's why I'd be like, I'm not I'm not chasing hoes. I don't have to. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't feel me. That's why that nigga, them nigga, them other niggas can't talk shit to me because they don't they don't have that. 
I look at them and I see they don't have that in their life. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to have no, I don't have to have no motherfucking body but her. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Real fucking talk. That's my motherfucking, that's my motherfucking backbone when I'm feeling motherfucking weak. You feel what I'm saying? When, when I'm on quicksand, that's my rock. And it's the same fucking way opposite. You dig what I'm saying? That's who the fuck you ride for. And that's the, re that's the reason I go so hard. Real talk. The nigga says the same fucking way opposite. What? So that means when you when you on rock, she's quicksand. You can't even listen to people. When I when I'm on quicksand, that's my rock, and it's the same motherfucking way the opposite. So when you on rock, she's quicksand. Oh, I will fuck. I will piss you off. I piss you off by using your language against you. Real fucking talk. That's my motherfucking nigga. I don't give a fuck about what nobody talking about. That's my motherfucking nigga. He referred to his girlfriend as his nigga. That's his nigga. You know what I'm saying? And all of this comes from her. I wouldn't be doing YouTube if it wasn't for her. She was like, yo, you need to get and tell you need to tell your fucking story. That's where this came from. You dig? And the elevation and it, the, the, the marketing and all of that was my hustle. But this shit, whole shit was her idea. The whole YouTube shit was her idea. Like, yo, you attractive, you, you energetic, and you magnetic. People would love to hear you talk. I love to hear you tell your story. You should put that shit on YouTube. So your girlfriend tried to has been trying to convince you to be me. He just admitted it. His girlfriend has been trying to get him to be me. His girlfriend, as I have told y'all, everybody looks at me and swears up and down, I got rich off of YouTube. So all these niggas popped up talking shit about me. That was their hustle. That's their stick. They believed it was literally make YouTube videos and get rich. So it came from her. All of this YouTube shit came from her. That's the only reason why I do it. Because my girl was like, do it. And I don't want to let her down because she said, do something. I want to see it to the end. That's the only reason why I still do YouTube videos. So his girlfriend wanted him to do YouTube videos. And he refused to stop because he didn't want to let her down. His girlfriend did not say, go get a job. Because he didn't want to, you know, that would have helped him. I want you black women to understand why I talk so much shit about you. Apparently, this garbage fat bitch has enough pull to where if she tells him to do something, he will do it vigorously. His fat bitch convinced him to do YouTube videos for nothing. Hoping to get rich. Do y'all hear this? She has that kind of power that she wouldn't tell him to stop threatening niggas online, get maybe a job, stop running from the police, get at that woman's house, you're 45, you're 45, stop coughing up a lung, Quit claiming you handsome. I don't understand what this nigga think he Brad Pitt. Like, it's the weirdest crap. You hear him talk about himself. All he do is talk about how fucking handsome he is. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do you have a garbage fat bitch? Why do you have a garbage fat bitch? If you that handsome, I know handsome dudes. Handsome dudes don't live in one bedroom apartment with bitches who have to de bring their mama. It doesn't happen. Handsome dudes don't go around claiming to beat people up. And handsome dudes, girls don't weigh 353 and standing five foot two. I hate being on camera. She can, she's standing right here. She can. He said he hate being on camera. She's standing right here. She can tell you, hey, babe. Don't I hate being on cameras? What's next? But if he hate being on camera, why is this nigga on camera for nine hours a day? Don't I hate being on camera? Yeah. She can't even take pictures of me. I'll turn my head and shit. Like, I hate being on camera. You dig what I'm saying? I do this for her. 
Real talk. I do this for her. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, you can blame black women for everything. This jackass idiot nut is doing what he's doing at a black woman's prompting. A black woman, I want y'all to hear this. The black woman refuses to show her face. She claims what she does for a living is so important that she don't want to risk it. But she would allow her man to show his face for nothing and ruin any chance of him ever being legitimate by how he's acting. Fellas, do you think this woman really has his back when she won't stop or ask him to stop making threats online, acting an absolute fool at 45 while she hides her face? Yeah. So if you think that I'm a motherfucking monster, what you think my girl is on the female side? You know what I'm saying? That's the goddamn bride of Frankenstein. My girl is a motherfucking, is a goon. Oh, and she's an AKA for real. My girl is a goon. My girl is the bride of Frankenstein. And she's an AKA for real. She's one of them ski weed chicks for real, Angie. And she's ranked. And she's in the books, Angie. Real fucking talk. I'm not putting her name out there because y'all y'all already know Miss B and that's enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting her motherfucking name out there because you chose to never attack her, you know what I'm saying, her career. I'll never let y'all do that shit. Real talk. You attack me all day. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But you'll never tear her and my kids down. You'll never. Have... I got all girls. You know what I'm saying? I got a son too. But you know what I'm saying? Like He stands on his own. You know what... He's right though. I can vouch for that. She is an AKA. Also known as a garbage fat bitch. She's an AKA, whatever her name is, she's an AKA garbage fat bitch. Her name, AKA garbage fat bitch. Somebody said, well, why is she never on screen? Uh, I, I, I got an answer for that too. She's probably not on screen because she is actually the screen. That green screen he got that stuff on, it's probably his girl. That's literally who she is. She can't be on screen when you are the screen. She's a garbage fat bitch, a.k.a. garbage fat bitch, also known as. I mean, I got all girls. So I'm like, man, fuck that. You're not going to fuck with my girls. I'm not the one. You're not going to fuck with my girls. Real shit. Talk about my daughters or my, you're not going to, what do I call all y'all? Mm -hmm. Then my, y'all can't fuck with my girls. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't fuck with my girls. I'm, I'm not going. I don't give a fuck about nobody else, but you can't fuck with my girls. I'm talking about my lady, you know what I'm saying? All my motherfucking daughters. You can't fuck with my girls, I'll kill you. CJ said, my man CJ313 said, AJ, AKA Tarp. That's her name, Tarp. <laughs> she gonna do a new movie called The World According to Tarp. Only my 80s babies got that one. Only my Robin Williams fans got that one. She, her new movie is going to be called The World According to Tarp. Go look it up. Go look up that movie. If you've never seen it, it's a great movie. The World According to Garp. Hilarious movie and a sad movie at the same time. Very good movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one. I will take your fucking back out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the one. Yeah, the ones that bark the loud. She don't even listen, dude. I've heard her, like, I've known her 20 years. I've heard her raise her voice six times. Okay? That was including today. <laughs> I've heard her raise her voice six fucking times in 20 fucking years. Okay, somebody told her, told him that his girls, you know, sound kind of scary, yelling and shit. So then this dude comes back and says, oh, I've only heard her yell in her whole life six times. That was the sixth in 20 years. Really? Really? Okay. I'm talking about somebody who's who's a consummate professional, who, who's constantly contained. A consummate professional? She's a garbage fat bitch. 
She is a garbage fat bitch, yeah. Who walks with a regal air? Who was she? She's only five feet fucking tall. When she walked into a room, everybody else bowed their fucking head. Sir, if she's only five foot tall, of course you'd have to bow your head to look down at the garbage fat bitch. Or you bow your head because, like they said in that movie, uh, Italian Job, you can't look uh, that motherfucker in the eye. You be like this. Y'all remember that scene where my man, um, he couldn't look the fat bit, the fat dude in the eye. He kept doing like this, but he, they said don't stare at him, so he had to turn like this because he didn't like to be stared at. That's a woman you honor, yo. That's why I've been with her for 20 years, dude. Real talk. Real talk. I was with a bitch when I met her and walked away from that bra. I'm talking about I walked away from an apartment full of these. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking with you. That lets y'all know how sad this nigga is. See what he said? I was with a broad and I walked away from that broad to be with her. I had, you know, apartment full of, you know, saying that he was living with a bitch to walk and live with another bitch. Skinny Pete. There you go. Skinny Pete. It's three things you never mess with. Mother Nature, Mother Earth, and motherfucking Ukrainians. <laughs> it's actually four things you never mess with. Mother Nature, Mother Earth, motherfucking Ukrainians, and motherfucking garbage fat bitches. Thank you, Skinny Pete. Two. Am I lying? No. We've been like that. I'm talking about since the day we hooked up, we ain't been separated since. We've been together every day, damn this, since we fucking met. You know what I'm saying? So fuck that. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit ain't. If y'all was together every day since y'all met, how you got them two kids that ain't hers? <laughs> Nothing. I'm talking about everything from whining, whining and dining to climbing. You dig what I'm saying? That's my nigga. Whining and dining and timing and grinding, huh? Man. She's a garbage fan. That's bitch. my nigga right there. Yeah, that's your nigga. Sound like it. Sound like a nigga used a sumo race. Thanks, Tasha J. And I did. Like, I love her. That's my motherfucking, that's my motherfucking nigga right there. D is my nigga and, and, and her and my girl, you know what I'm saying? They cool in the motherfucker. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's my motherfucker. Them my motherfuckers, yo. You know what I'm saying? And do the same type of motherfucker for her, man. That's why I love her so much. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we're mirror... It, our relationships are mirror images of each other. That's why we get along so well. And I'm talking about it ain't no... I'm just cool with D, and she cool with me and, and my girl. No. Me and her dude cool, and her and my girl cool. The way it's supposed to be. Grown folk shit. Oh, and I apologize. I didn't say good afternoon to the fam. Good afternoon. That's a heavy set bitch. That's my nigga right there, y'all. Hey, Styles, I know you're watching this, so somebody gonna tell you um, about this. So while you're watching, could you do me a favor? Go in the room with your girl and just ask her to say these words for me. I'll take good care of you. That's what a fat bitch is supposed to do. And she'll be there for you all the time. She's fat and round, and she eats up all the food. Yeah, fat bitch. Garbage fat bitch. She'll eat a garden and some fast fruit with some fries. That's a fat bitch. She'll eat up all your shit. She eat a garden. This bitch will eat a garden. She'll eat a garden. She eat up a whole garden. If you think she is not gonna sit on you and your house smell just like some doo doo, show you right. Hey, yo, Styles, I bet that fat bitch, I bet that fat bitch smells just like shit. 
If you think she is not gonna set on you and your house smell just like some doo doo, show you're right. Hey, yo, Styles, I know you're mad right now. Listen here. Nigga, you know. If you think she is not gonna set on you, if you don't think she don't smell like doo doo, show you're right.